The Space Shuttle main engine, also known as the RS-25, was created by Aerojet Rocketdyne and is the most advanced rocket engine to ever be produced. The Space Shuttle used three RS-25 engines on the orbiter, which burned from liftoff until just before orbital insertion. For this unique role on the Space Shuttle, the engine needed to survive long burn times, be efficient at both sea level and in a vacuum, and be able to be refurbished easily for future flights. The engine also needed to have very high thrust vectoring range to accommodate for the constantly changing center of mass on the Space Shuttle. Each engine is attached to the rocket using a titanium ball and socket joint to allow for a gibble range of plus or minus 10.5 degrees. The engine burns a combination of liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. This high efficiency propellant combination allows the RS-25 to get very high specific impulse. At sea level, the specific impulse is about 366 seconds, and in a vacuum the engine gets a specific impulse of 452 seconds. This makes the Space Shuttle main engine one of the most efficient engines ever created. To get this high efficiency, the engine uses a stage combustion cycle, where the hydrogen is mixed with a small amount of the liquid oxygen in a pre-burner. The hot, fuel-rich gas created in the pre-burner is used to power the turbo pumps before being fed into the main combustion chamber, where it is mixed with the remaining liquid oxygen. Stage combustion allows for a higher efficiency than other engine cycles at the cost of added complexity. The engine bell on the RS-25 is uniquely designed to allow for high performance at both vacuum and sea level. The expansion ratio is very high compared to other first stage engines. This high expansion gives the engine high vacuum performance, but would normally cause the exhaust gas to separate from the engine bell at low altitudes. This separation would have caused control problems and possible damage to the vehicle. To solve this, engineers designed the bell with a reduced angle near the exit. This change in angle increased the pressure around the rim of the engine bell, which prevented the flow separation. At sea level, the engine produces 1,860 kilonewtons of thrust, and 2,279 kilonewtons in a vacuum. The engine is also able to throttle to about 65% of full thrust. This throttle capability was used to limit g-forces and reduce aerodynamic stress during flight. The Space Shuttle main engine boasts a high reliability rate. On 135 Space Shuttle missions, there was only one engine failure. And despite this failure, the Space Shuttle still made it to orbit on that mission. This gives the engine a 99.95% mission success rate. Due to the retirement of the Space Shuttle in 2011, production of the RS-25 was stopped temporarily. NASA released plans to use the remaining Space Shuttle engines for the first stage of the planned Space Launch System. Space Launch System, or SLS, is an expendable launch vehicle and will not reuse engines after launch like the Space Shuttle had. Aerojet Rocketdyne has now restarted production of the RS-25 to build rocket engines for the launch system after NASA's current inventory is used up. NASA currently has 16 engines for use on SLS.